Hello my friends, hello everybody, and uh, today I wanted to make a video on a bandolier, a bandolier that I've had for more than 20 years, and uh, I've seen them on eBay every once in a while for like 80 bucks, but nobody really buys them. Uh, the problem is I think that nobody knows what the hell they are. It's very difficult to find information on these, and I think I've seen only one book that has one or two pictures of this bandolier in particular, and the people who are wearing it are... British Raj or the Indian troops. Uh, it's going to be around World War One or pre World War One, most definitely pre World War One. Uh, the reason being is that these here are single loop for single rounds each, which means only one thing: um, either the Martini Henry, which isn't, which did come out in three hundred three eventually, but primarily for the. Medford rifles or the Lee Enfield, you know, the Lee Medford, Lee, Lee Enfield rifles. And uh, this is the ones that I made. It's pretty neat because it has these textures. Um, there are some, uh, there is another style like that looks a lot like this, and it's the Canadian. There are differences in the Canadian and in this one. Okay, you will see the difference if you take a good look at this one here, and you might see the Canadian one on eBay. I've actually seen it quite a bit. The flap is, is a bit different. Than this one but actually I've seen that Canadian bandolier many many more times than I have ever seen this one and this one was as far as I knew 20 something years ago when I started seeing it uh, on the internet nowadays you can't really see um, you can't find it it's, it's difficult I've actually seen this uh, be described as a Western belt or you know cartridge belt it's like a Western, it's like now they're American, like no, 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 they're not American, okay? All this hardware is very British, very 1903 bandolier British, right? Look at my reproduction bandolier British, 1903, right? This is the same stuff, okay? This is very British brass, uh, um, brass buckles and, and equipment, which gear, which I'll show you uh, in a minute. So this is all hand-stitched with... Uh, um, waxed paper or waxed wax paper waxed thread and this of course up here is stitched you can hand stitch this if you don't have a sewing machine um, but nobody 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 has ever worn any of this that I've ever seen so if you're out there somewhere and you know anything about this one uh, I would really appreciate some some help like I said I think I've seen many years ago I, I, I saw a couple of video uh, uh, pictures on uh, on the internet uh, regarding this one and it was cons it was called the 1888 I believe I know that this one's also called the 1888 okay I know that this one also has been referred to that as the 1888 or 1891 something like that but this is uh, specifically the, the colonial bandoliers as far as I know that it's been called so here's all the hardware British not Western you know southwestern or some baloney like that so this is all British this is obviously for the belt okay you uh, you know you loop this through here just like the 1903, you loop this through here, there's your bandolier, and this c connects to your belt, just like the 1903. So obviously this came out before that, but look at the texture on that, it's pretty neat. Nice color too, these rivets, I wish I could find these rivets. Mushroomy looking stud, but uh, hands are stitched again here, sewn, stitched. This is original, you can see it's all, you know, it's got that, uh, what do you call that, patina, or the green. So, anyway, I've had this for over 20 years, and I've just never seen anybody wear them in a reenacting event, or uh, one book that I saw that, that that did have them, but, uh, idiot, I didn't buy the book. And it was an old book, too, it was an older book from the 70s or 80s, I think. Anyway, just sharing you some bandolier that uh, I think is pretty interesting. All right, thank you for your time.